Grace is Gone by Dave Matthews is going to be played in standard tuning and comes out of a D major chord. I've got my first finger on the, on the third string, second fret, my ring finger on the second string, third fret. And you will start, this whole thing is finger picked by the way, you'll start by plucking down with your thumb on the open fourth string and then plucking up with your first and second fingers on strings three and two. And you'll be hammering on with your first finger to the third string second fret. So after the hammer on, you'll hit thumb on the fourth string and then go second finger on the second string, first finger on the third string, and then thumb on the fourth string. And then you'll pinch the fourth and the third strings together while hammering on with your pinky finger to the third string fourth fret. And then pinch again, letting them up. And then with your second finger, you'll hit the second string. And then come back to your thumb on the fourth string. And then you'll move with your, and you'll pluck that. Then you'll move your pinky finger to the fourth string, fourth fret. You'll go thumb, first, second on four, three, two. And then you'll go with your first finger to the fourth string, two fret. And you'll go thumb, first and second, thumb, first and second in alternating motion across thumb on the fourth string and your first and second plucking up on strings two and three. And then that repeats. Except for it doesn't walk back down the second time, it just goes to a C chord. So whenever you go to the C chord, you're going with your second finger to the five string three fret. You'll pluck that with your thumb and then you'll hammer on to the four string second fret with your first finger and you'll pluck that with your thumb too. After hammering on, you'll come with your first finger to the third string and second finger to the second string and then back into the D chord. So very slowly. You can hear that kind of light back and forth between first on the third string and thumb on the fourth string. Thumb for thumb, then flick of the back of your fingernails across that D chord. The verse is going to follow that exact same pattern of, of the D chord walking down back to the D chord and then to the C chord and at the end of the verse it goes back to the C chord and vamps on that first sight where you're going thumb and then flip down with your first and second fingers like the back of your fingernail across the rest of this chord. In the C chord by the way I'm keeping my second finger on the second string third fret. So thumb, flick, and then the first finger is going to be uh, catching the open third string and you're going to alternate between the thumb on the fifth string and first finger on the open third string. So thumb, flick, then alternate and flick again. Something along those lines before returning back up into the D chord just for a split second before going into the chorus. And the chorus will be a G chord, to a D chord, to a B minor chord, to an A chord. The way you're going to do that is the G chord will be your ring finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, your 2nd finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, open 4, open 3, open 2, and pinky pulled back to the 1st string 3rd fret. So G, and it's that same picking pattern of, of thumb, flick, and then alternate between your first and thumb. I say you alternate just between your first and thumb. I'm actually throwing a second finger in there too, and I'm pretty sure that Dave Matthews is doing that same thing of thumb, flick, first, thumb, second, 
first thumb flick, thumb flick, first thumb, second, first thumb flick. G chord to the D chord the same D chord as before B minor chord this is a new chord for us so I've got my first finger on the five string two fret ring finger to the four string four fret pinky finger to the three string four fret and your second finger on the two string three fret and it's that same picking pattern as thumb flick thumb flick Thumb, second, thumb, flick. Then to the A chord. The A is just open up the five string and put your first finger on the second fret of strings three, uh, uh, second fret of strings four, three, and two. And then it repeats back down to the G chord, back up to the D chord, and then the second time through it goes to this version of an A chord. So you're going to put your pinky finger on the five string four fret and then bar with your first finger across the second fret of strings four, three, and two like you would a usual A chord, but we're putting our pinky on the five string four fret. And then it goes back up into the D chord. And everything repeats ad nauseum from that point except for the last time through. It hits that part of the intro, then goes back to the B minor, back up to this inverted type of an A chord, and then back into the D.